Yeah, I think the, um, the, the key for us is showing the right intent. Um, and I think that would be, from yesterday's innings, that would be the biggest disappointment, that the first two played very well, showed good intent, ran between the wickets well, put away the bad ball. And then when we lost two wickets in two balls, our intent went out of our innings. Um, I think, you know, the, the key, we, we can... We can defend and talk about our team and we can say that we've got lots of good players and you know, people have, are at different stages of their career, but the key is going out and batting and showing you can do it in the middle, isn't it? That's what you're looking for and, and we saw tonight good intent, they play well tonight, but it's about continuing that on um, throughout the rest of the innings and everybody um, going in and playing in their way um, with good intent. And good intent doesn't mean going in and looking to... Um, just hit boundaries. It means actually leaving well, defending well, putting the bad ball away when it comes along, rotating strike, all, all the basic obvious things that you'd be looking for your batsman to do. And as I say, yesterday that would be our biggest disappointment, that we, we lost the intent um, and, and that was massively disappointing. So tomorrow is a chance to put that exactly right. Yes, I would, yeah. And, and the doc's been working on him this evening to relieve a bit of pressure in there under the nail. Um, so hopefully, um, he'll, uh, it, when needed, um, he'll be okay. We've said um, that we practice hard. We've got a fielding coach, which I know will please you um, in particular. Um, and you know, our, our fielding coach works e exceptionally hard um, over the two practice days um, when the bulk of the work is done. Um, we think we've got some good catchers, but um, you can't keep shelling chances the way that we are. And that comes down to two things. That's either concentration, um, not being good enough, or um, you know, just in terms of confidence, when you start to miss chances, that starts to eat away at you. Um, and it's tough because you know, the one great thing from today was that our bowlers stuck out their job really well. You know, we had a tough day yesterday, and I thought our bowlers really stuck at their job well today. Um, 70 runs scored this morning in the first session. Um, and we kept plugging away and, and working very hard. And, you know, when bowlers are creating opportunities and catches are being dropped, um, that must be soul-destroying. That must be absolutely tough. But, you know, nobody means to drop chances. Of course they don't. But, um, you know, it is becoming too regular. Well, we're, we're 2 nil up in the series. Um, and we showed in the last game that we're capable of scoring runs. Um, and we know that we have got some very good players in our team. Um, and I know that you would say that you know runs in the last game came from the middle order, but ultimately it doesn't matter where the runs come from. All 11 are part of the same team and they're all allowed to score runs for your team. So, um, of course, you want your top order to score runs. Of course, you want your top order to um, give the, the, uh, the batters the best chance possible. But, um, you know, we've got people at different stages of their career. Um, and, you know, we would like to think that the selectors have picked the best people available um, for these games.